PC Crash 9.2 has added an anti-roll component to the suspension model. So to demonstrate that, I've got a couple of GMC Yukons loaded up here. The vehicles are the same. I just cloned the first one. But you can see that the first one is not using the roll stiffness, and the second one is. I've actually reduced the roll stiffness a little bit just to demonstrate uh, you know, some, uh, some roll in the vehicle, not make it too extreme. So what the roll stiffness does is adds uh, a suspension force uh, which is based on the differential motion between the two sides of the vehicle. So you can specify that by axle. Uh, so you can have a different anti-roll on the front and on the rear. So if you just put a zero and a one, then you don't have any anti-roll on uh, a given axle. Or you can just uncheck and not use it. So again, vehicle one is not using the roll stiffness and vehicle two is using roll stiffness. So I've just set the simulation to run out to the point where there's a onset of roll. So you can see, I'll just zoom in a little bit here. Oh, I'm moving my camera relative to the one vehicle. Let me just fix that. There we are. So here you can see they both go through the same motions, but vehicle one, the red one, has more roll than vehicle two. And you can see, if we look at our diagrams here, we've got the left front wheel for the two vehicles, and the right, uh, sorry, the, the sorry, the right front wheel and the left front wheel for the two vehicles, and the roll angles. And so you can see as we move through here that the forces are about the same until tires actually lift off. But the amount of roll that we get for a given tire force is uh, more for the softer vehicle than for the stiffer vehicle. So in this case, this vehicle actually rolls, and this one doesn't. Uh, so it's a, a simple change, but uh, it's useful uh, in uh, more accurately modeling what happens uh, when uh, you've got roll motion, uh, especially when it's combined with pitch motion. So that is anti-roll in PC Crash 9.2.